Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Khaled, and I'm coming to you guys today with a palette review. Alright, fine. <laughs> so today, basically, I'm going to be talking about the Modern Renaissance palette. Now, I got this palette a while ago, um, but I never got around to doing an actual review on it to like, tell you guys how I really, you know, liked this palette. Um... First off, let me start by saying that when I got this, I wasn't working at Sephora, so I paid full price for it. When I got my self-made palette, though, I was working at Sephora, so I got the low low. This one, I don't even remember what the price was, but as you guys know, you pretty much get it the same price everywhere. Um, but yeah, Rudy Sells palette, as you can see, a little bit of it's coming off at the top there, but it's okay. <laughs> So, let's take a look at these colors, and I'll do a close-up in a minute. Um, so, there you go. So, it's a very warm palette. Um, let me start by saying that I really love the colors in this. Like, they truly captured, you know, the essence of, like, what you would think the Renaissance colors would be. Of course, you can look at any Renaissance painting and, you know, kind of pick up those warm colors. Reminds you of, like, Italy and Tuscan things and the Mediterranean and things of that sort and nature. Sorry if my, my lighting's a little weird. My room's yellow, so it's giving off, like, a weird-ass yellow hue. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, um, I do want to say that I freaking absolutely love this palette. Um, I believe, in my opinion, that it's especially great for women of color and just getting that kind of like pop in your eyes. Um, a lot of the colors here like um, Real Gar and Burnt Orange, also Raw Sienna you can get away with, are really good for lid colors and really just kind of carving out um, that crease. Um, and then you have your colors like Red Orchard, Venetian Red, which is my favorite, and I use it all the time, and Love Letter that you can really just intensify a look with. Um, and you go on with your neutrals up here, Tempera, Golden Orchard, Vermeer, like these are all really pretty colors. I haven't tried antique bronze yet. I might try to look with that, but yeah. Um, currently what I have like on my eyes now is nothing from this palette. This is actually all the self-made palette, which I guess I should have done a review on instead. But I broke my self-made palette. So it's like in half. So this part is still intact, but this comes off. And that's one thing that I don't like about Anastasia Beverly Hills is um, packaging. The palettes are super cute because they have its own like personality with every palette but um they're not durable at all in my opinion but at the same time i kind of don't care to take care of them so <laughs> you never know um but yeah i'm really liking this palette so far it gets the stamp of approval for colored girls um but yeah i'm loving it i don't know if you guys can see my little setup there <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm really loving this palette and I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I haven't really tried much of the shimmers. It only really has three shimmers in it. And I think that's what, what I like about it so much because it has matte colors in here that you can just kind of play with like a totally matte look. Um, a lot of times I would just follow a template when it comes up to like, doing my makeup and that's like crease, outer, glitter lid. And um, with this palette, you can play around with it and do a totally matte look and a totally one color look. And it'll still come out beautiful. But um, yeah, I haven't really played with these colors yet. I might do a look for you guys, like a get ready with me. I don't really want to start doing tutorials yet until like I get good lighting. Um, but until then, I can still, you know, pack something together for y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little close-up on this palette. Okay. Okay. So there are your colors. Very pretty, very neutral. The pop of warmth. Just in the warm spectrum. And why not do a few swatches for you? 
So I'm gonna go in with the Red Orchard. It's one of my, it's one of the more pigmented colors, although they're all pigmented. So that's how it's looking. So that's how it's looking on my finger. Let me take my hand. Boom. I'm gonna go in with Primavera. yeah overall I can say that I really do freaking love this palette um, and I would suggest anybody to get it if you can still get it I don't know how these palettes work to be honest I didn't even know about Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes until I worked at Sephora so I don't know if you can still order them or not but if there's a way for you to order it if you're thinking about buying one off of Amazon or something or having your sister give it to you or buying it from your brother or whoever <laughs> Um, I say definitely go for it because it's life. At one point, this is all I was using. My colors, this is all I was using. Um, but yeah, guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please do not be afraid to put them in the description. How y'all gonna put them in the description box below? <laughs> if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please go ahead and comment this video so i can go ahead and answer them for you ladies and i just do want to say thank you for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe bye i want to do a little swatch for you guys oh it's upside fucking down